can I make a grapefruit mead? There's only one way to find out. My approach here is to ferment a combination of honey with zest and juice from one grapefruit to make something vibrant and delicious close to 15%. I don't use it often, but I think an orange blossom honey is going to be perfect for this batch and help add a nice boost of citrus. I could see this being a really good summertime drink, especially chilled on the beach, so I hope this works out. Here I'm giving this grapefruit a quick haircut, and if I've learned one thing from making meats with orange, it's that adding the pith or the white part underneath the peel will cause the meat to be super bitter, and even more so with grapefruit. And so that's why I'm sticking with just the zest and the juice. Look at how much juice I got out of just one grapefruit. And I'm not following any recipe here, but I think one should be enough so that we don't end up with something too acidic. Fun fact, I actually hated grapefruit as a kid, so I've been a bit hesitant to try this. But I tried it again before throwing this batch together, and now I definitely get the hype. Now, the only other ingredients I'm adding to turn this into alcohol are yeast and nutrient. And with this hydrometer reading, we should have enough fermentable sugar to get close to about 14.7 ABV. Now look at this, you guys. Just a few hours after putting this batch together, it started fermenting nicely. So we'll let this sit for about 30 days 